Jay Summers Morning Blend 80 has a new series coming out, docuseries. It's a Secrets of Penthouse. And here to tell us a little bit about it is Jenna Jameson. Good morning, Jenna. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing well. Thank you. Well, I appreciate you joining us on Morning Blend. So tell us just a little bit of what we can expect in this docuseries. Well, this docuseries is covering Bob Guccione, who is a legend, not only in the adult industry, but I think worldwide. And um, he was a very complex man. And I'm just so excited to hear all the stories. I have a lot of my own when it comes to Penthouse Magazine and Bob Guccione, but I'm sure there are a lot more secrets that are gonna be let out. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, tell us a little bit about your career. Well, my career is a storied one. Uh, I got into the industry very young. I was 18, just turned. And um, my number one goal at the time was to, uh, I wanted to be a penthouse pet. And um, I thought my best avenue was to take over the adult industry. And um, that was quite easy for me. I, I set my sights and I made it happen. And I remember I was I was like put forth as a penthouse pet and Bob Guccione turned me down. He said I looked too young. So I decided to take the adult industry route and uh, started to become famous. And that's when Bob recontacted me and said, Jenna, I think you should be a penthouse pet. So I ended up <laughs> a centerfold and a cover girl. And I think, I don't know how many times I've been on the cover, but quite a few. So Bob Guccione was pivotal in my career. It actually sounds like you had a lot of focus and determination. Talk about that. Well, from a very young age, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. And I saw an industry, the adult industry, as being mainly ran by men and I felt like I was the woman to take it over and uh, I I made that happen I really did <laughs> it sounds like it w women should take a note from that from you on that one they should really take a note on that one for you because definitely well, it is the way I look at everything the way I look at everything is um, I don't think that I am incapable of anything. I know that if I wanted to be president, I could have. And um, I just saw an in with the adult industry and boom, I was like, let me get rich and let me make a lot of other people rich along with me. <laughs> wow, that sounds cool. Now, what are you doing today? I understand you're into health and wellness. Well, I had um, a long year of health issues. I lost my capability of uh, walking and I, I really just focus down on holistic care and um, healing my body and um, you don't really realize how important what you put in your body is until you start feeling ill so mm -hmm. now I am like a, a guru so I've been <laughs> doing a lot of I'm feeling so good. I'm back on my feet. Um, I, I, and I just feel really happy. Now, what do you suggest? You, you, you said what you put in your body. What do you suggest for breakfast? Well, for me, the most important thing is a well-rounded diet and whole foods. I don't, I, I steer myself away from anything packaged or, you know, high in preservatives and things like that. So uh, lots of veggies. I am a big steak eater. I know a lot of people out there are not meat eaters, but I am and I enjoy it. So <laughs> I just I'm, keep my I'm with, really clean. I'm with you on that, Jenna. Yeah, same here. <laughs> My yeah, problem right? is I need, yeah, I got to get rid of all that preserved stuff. I need to get rid of the box stuff. That's what I need to do. I need to eat more fresh it's fruit. Hard. Yeah, it is. It is definitely. Been speaking with Jenna Jameson about A&E Secrets of Penthouse, which is actually Labor Day. It's going to be the 4th and the 5th. This will air on Saturday. Jenna, thank you so much for joining us on Morning Blend. I think the one thing I have to admire about you is your focus, your determination, and, and nothing stands in your way.
I appreciate that. Thank you so much. All right. You have a good day. Thank you again, Jenna. You too.